there, Sopranos aficionados. Let's dive into a tantalizing what-if scenario that's been lurking in the shadows of the Sopranos. Imagine this. Dr. Melfi, the strong-willed shrink we all know and love, attempting to rat on Tony to the FBI. Hard to believe, I know, but that was David Chase's original idea, and you'll soon see the proof. Moreover, by the end of the video, you'll know what would happen if Melfi actually became a rat. We all know Dr. Melfi wouldn't actually betray her patient, right? But what if there was a deleted scene from the season one finale that suggested otherwise? One that had her lawyer contacting the FBI to spill the beans about Tony's plans? Oh! Here's the kicker. Someone on eBay has the season one finale script for sale. Over 500 bucks. A lot of money in this shit. Oh yeah? But here's the juicy part. One of the pictures includes that very deleted scene. So, what if Melfi tried to rat out Tony? What are you gonna do, go Henry Hill on me now? This subplot could have changed everything we know about her character. So today, Let's explore this lost subplot, its implications, and why it might have been a good thing it didn't make the final cut. Now, let's break this down. In that deleted scene, Dr. Melfi rats Tony out for allegedly planning to whack Junior. And what happens? The FBI brushes her off? Can you believe that? But let's take a moment to ponder this. Then I must warn you of my duty to alert law enforcement. I don't know why I'd tell you anything. The FBI would absolutely have had thoughts swirling in their heads about Melfi's potential culpability. After all, her professional ethics aren't as ironclad as we like to think. Melfi, being the true conciliaire of the show, might have even turned the tables on the feds, providing them with misleading information in exchange for immunity from their watchful eyes. Did you ever tell anybody about you and me? Think about it. Melfi has had a significant impact on Tony. She stopped him from making rash decisions, helped him confront difficult aspects of his life, and at times, it feels like she's been subtly controlling the narrative. He's complaining about his back, but I think the doctor thinks it's all in his head. That's very possible. It's fascinating how she navigates her role, at once a healer and, paradoxically, a puppet master of sorts. But let's consider the character dynamics here. Melfi's essence lies in her distance from the mob world, one of her most compelling traits is her ability to remain above the fray, playing the role of the moral compass while Tony grapples with his demons. If she had become an informant, it would shift her character from an ethical therapist to a traitor in Tony's eyes. So, when I heard she was dead, relief flooded into my veins. Would Melfi even survive that revelation? Imagine the tension, Tony finding out she tried to flip on him. This subplot could have unraveled her character completely. The suspense between them, the delicate balance of trust, would be shattered. Moreover, the show thrives on ambiguity. It subtly highlights the conflicts between ethics and loyalty. Melfi's internal struggles, her duty to help Tony versus the implications of his criminal life, would have been starkly altered if she had crossed that line. But let's not overlook the bigger picture here. Let's get back to smashing my face. Jesus Christ. Oh. The Sopranos creators might have opted against this storyline to emphasize the show's critique of the FBI's incompetence. This subplot could have foreshadowed how utterly useless the feds would prove to be throughout the series. So, should the creators have made this subplot a reality? Let's weigh the pros and cons. Grasso, ti faccio culo così. Your ass. On one hand, it could have added an intense layer of tension, enriching Melfi's character and escalating the stakes for Tony. But on the other hand, it risks diluting the core themes of the show. Loyalty, betrayal, and the psychological complexities of its characters. In fact, having Melfi as an informant could overshadow the show's exploration of Tony's psyche. It could have become less about Tony's unraveling and more about the moral dilemmas faced by those around him. Plus, think about the implications for future seasons. The narrative shift might have led to an early exit for Melfi, disrupting the delicate balance of Tony's therapy sessions, which often served as a lens through which we explored his internal struggles. Ultimately, keeping Melfi outside the criminal world preserves her integrity and reinforces the show's central theme. Sometimes, even the purest intentions can become corrupt. That is a special-made psychological picture that, what do you call a test, the Korshak. So, what do you think? Would Dr. Melfi have been a better character if she'd ratted out Tony Soprano? Or do you believe her strength lies in her ability to remain an ally without compromising her ethics? Drop your thoughts in the comments below!
And let's keep this Sopranos train rolling. You know, most of the guys that I know, they read Prince Machiavelli. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of The Sopranos. And if you've ever wondered what shocking turns The Sopranos cast's lives have taken, don't miss out the video on The Sopranos, Where Are They Now?